We've had some big matches in this series already, but none are as big or as important to the future of the team, the future of the save, as today's playoff final against Woking. Hello and welcome to part 22 of Non-League to Legend, I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode we have the all-important Vanarama National League South playoff final and against Woking, we're at home as well, it's at Clarence Park because we finished second in the league so get the, uh, get the location advantage as you can see from the league table there, it doesn't get much tighter than how things finished between Slough who got promoted, us in second, Woking in third the, the three of us were neck and neck throughout that running. And to be honest, we were all in rubbish form. We were all losing. We were all drawing. Nobody's coming into this in great form. My worry is that Woking have tended to get the better of us when we've played them previously. Um, so we lost 3-1 against them back in February. Um, that was until the Hungerford game in the running. That was our last, last defeat of the season. Um, and then if we go back, okay, we did beat them 4-1 earlier on. Akpaviri and Denanga do. Oh, that was in the FA Cup, though. Where's the league? Perhaps say, in the league, we lost 4 1. Yeah. So there's going to be goals today. We are 0 0 now, and we decided on penalties. But they've got Greg Lua, and Greg Lua always scores lots of goals against us because he's too good to be playing in the National League South. But we've got Denanga. Um, and this is the team we're putting out there. We've got Davies in goal. A back four of Wyatt, Bender, McKenna and Bloor. Patterson, Bale, Sambu and Wilkin in midfield. Wilkin, I mentioned this in the semi-final, how it would be a bit unfair to drop Sadie for the final. But you know what? Wilkin's just in better form. He's playing better. He's fitter. We're going with Wilkin. Sadie, can, we make that change every game. So we may as well just start with Wilkin and see what happens. And we are going with Akpabiri and Denanga up front. Partly because we've just seen what they did between the two of them against Woking in the FA Cup when we started that run off way back when. Um, but also uh, because I don't want to make too many changes going into a final. you got, you know, Merson, as good as he's been this season, Akpabiri has been a very good partner to Denanga. And I think Denanga plays better when Akpabiri is with him. We're also dropping back to our normal cautious mentality. We're going out, we're going out there with our proper counter-attacking system. And we'll obviously adjust it as the game goes on if we feel that we need to. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna go for it too aggressively too early on because I'm afraid of this man, Lua. And I mean also just again, we mentioned this with another team recently. There's a lot of real faces in there. Having a lot of real faces means they're probably quite good. Um let's assertively say Um we will secure promotions nationally. Yeah, go out there and impress me. I don't want to put any pressure on them because we were supposed to finish mid-table. The board were looking for mid-table. The media were predicting mid-table. We've had a fantastic season, win or lose. But it's important to just remind the players how much of a big deal a win would be. It's a life changer. Moving up to the National League, it's one step towards one step closer to becoming a full-time club, which for some of them is a difference between them carrying on working as a postman or not. We just, you know, we've got to, got to go for it a little bit. Let's, what can we do? What can we shout at them? Oh, they're going to score here, aren't they? Oh, Davies with a great save and Bloor clears. Right, now we're going to show some passion. I'm not having them after the first highlight. We're half an hour in. We've done nothing. Let's show some passion. For the last 15 minutes of this half, we've let them have a lot of a lot of faffing about without us really challenging. Now's the time for a goal just for half-time. Wilkin crosses into Denanga! And it's saved, and that's our first, that was probably the first big chance of the game. And it's turned around the post, and it, I mean, it's nil-nil still, just as we're approaching half-time, but it's Woking now with the attack. Wyatt gets control of it in the area, clears towards Akpaviri, controls it beautifully, and Akpaviri plays Denanga in, Denanga's through, Denanga's gone very wide, plays it into Bale, and Bale scores on the 39th minute with 1-0 up, and it's Adam Bale, two of the heroes of the FA Cup run combined there, Denanga playing it into Bale, and, oh, oh, I feel light-headed. My word, we're 1-0 up in the playoff final. And Denanga very much involved again. Wowzers, does he want me to sing a song about him? I won't sing it until we're in the National League. We all know the rules. Uh, but just before half-time, the ball is back in our half. It's Patterson, though. Plays the ball over the top to Denanga. Denanga, he's got Akpabiri in the middle and Akpabiri scores! And it's 2-0 just before half-time. And Denanga's on two assists. And that 
was a perfect example of counter-attacking football. The ball's back in our half, but we just lump it over the top. For, Akpenbire, for Denanga, sorry, to chase on to, squares it beautifully. Akpenbire finishes. We said the two of them can combine nicely and have dismantled Woking once already this season. And, I mean, I hoped for a breakthrough before half-time. I don't know if I could have dreamt to be 2 nil up going into half-time, when we hadn't had a highlight in the first 35 minutes, though. I asked him to show some passion. Goodness me, did they show me some passion? But we need to maintain calmness. Um, yeah, don't get complacent. You've got to stay focused. I've stressed out Tom Bender, but everyone else is motivated. I don't mind that so much. Tom, just, I mean, be stressed for 45 minutes. It's worth it if we get promoted, isn't it? Although he is one of the little group of players who I've already said on a video that if we get promoted, there's a chance he perhaps won't get his contract renewed because as good as Tom Bender has been for two years at this level, there's not been National League teams beating the door down to bring him in. So I don't know don't know that we'll necessarily bring Tom Bender with us if we have to make a step up in division, which, I mean, nothing's happening and that's exactly what we wanted. Um, but now 25 minutes or 35 minutes left and we've conceded an absolute nightmare of a goal. I don't even know what's happened there. It's a Tom Bender own goal. Brilliant. I've stressed him out and he's converted his stress into an own goal. What a numpty. What, I mean, what's happened here? No, I mean, there's no benefit to having a team of motivated players if you've got the one stressed man who just... I mean, it's basically gone in off his groin. <laughs> Kept in the National League by Tom Bender's... Oh, fill in the blanks, boys and girls. Right, Sambu isn't playing well, but I'm not taking him off. He's too important to us. Watch him get sent off now. We're going to absolutely combust. I can feel it coming. Um, we are going to take off Patterson and bring on Sadie who's quite comfortable playing on that left-hand side of midfield. I'm tempted to take off Tom Bender, but he's been our best defender. But he's an idiot who's just scored an own goal, and I'm cross with him. I want to get Bosmer on, but I can't take Bale. Should I take off Sambu? But Sambu's so important. But then Bale can play as that... Mm, treat it like any other game. That's got to be the key to this. Sambu's on a yellow card. He's not playing well, and he's tiring. I don't care that he's our captain. I don't care how well he normally plays. In this situation, we take him off. I should have told us to concentrate after the goal. It's probably too late for concentration now. Um, what can we say? Do I do I want to tell us to tighten up? I don't know what don't know what to do. I might ask for more passion. Passion worked in the first half. Um, do we bring? I might bring Sam Merson on as well. Sam Merson for Apibere. My my other normal change. It allows us to drop in anger back a little bit. And now I'm going to ask for passion. And I hope I don't upset everybody. Passion me. We've got pa They're fired up. Come on. Can we be fired up with the passion? Come on, lads. We've just got to hold on for another 10 seconds. And it's our corner. And it's Sam Merson to take. Why we've not taken a short corner and just kept hold of the ball there, I don't know. But we've won. We're in the National League. We get to dance with a trophy. Where am I? There he is, look. Oh, Kev's very happy. They've been quite generous with my animation there because on the load screen, he's a big fat guy. But clearly, they can't load that up in the match engine. But, oh my word, we're in the National League. This, I, I mean, I wasn't prepared for this. I don't... <laughs> next season's going to be a massacre. It's time to find a new club, everybody. Um, let's have a look at what everyone's got to say about it. St. Albans promoted. Huzzah! We have that. I mean, that's ridiculous. We've had one of the greatest seasons I've ever had in Football Manager. Apparently, our pitch was a disgrace. Who cares? We're getting it relayed in the summer with Huddersfield money. Um, we've been... Oh, my God. Forget leaving St. St. Albans. They've doubled our wage budget and given me half a million pounds to spend. I mean, I know we've made... Nearly a six hundred thousand pound profit this season with the cup run, with the playoff. The playoffs have brought in another hundred grand, but the board have absolutely backed me by saying, "You know what, Kev? All that cup money, it's yours. Spend it on what you like." Nearly half a million pounds to spend as a newly promoted conference team. Forget the job hunt. We're doing at least one more year at St Albans. And we'll see what we can build over this summer. And that is going to be with another transfer special video. I think the way I'm going to do it is. 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, 
there will be a transfer special video that comes out. I would live stream it, but I'm down in London for another football manager thing this weekend coming. So I can't live stream it, but I'll play that before then. And tomorrow, so tomorrow morning, there'll be an extended episode. It'll be the transfer and it'll be me spending that half a million quid. And then we'll do the normal episode. It'll be out at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon as normal, which will be a summary of the transfer window if you don't want to watch the whole thing. And then first game of the new season as well. Half a million. I've never, in all my years playing football manager, I've never had that kind of money to spend in non-league. This this could be the greatest thing to ever happen in Football Manager, or it could go spectacularly wrong. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.